Hello, this is Craig, and I thought I would show you the very first of the outside of base game styles that you play in uh, in Intrepid Space Explorers. And this is the satellite view. So your base is here, uh, and I forgot to put a label on it because I'm just brilliant like that. So that's that's your base right there, uh, and you can see the world is uh, all around you, but it's been filtered by your your satellite. Um, so you're not seeing the the actual world. You're seeing a satellite enhanced version which means that on the dark side you can still see stuff um, now as you can see there's all sorts of white blobs running around uh, and those are primitive symbols that you are receiving from your satellite that tell you what's in the area so if you find a place that you like and you think is cool uh, then uh, let's see if we can find one here, ah here's one unfortunately my mouse is uh, uh, when I'm recording using Cam Studio, the mouse misbehaves a little bit. Let's say that we like this one. We can tag it with whatever we want. For example, we could call it uh, uh, Barren Ocean 1. And you can see that even though the planet was turning while we were doing our labeling, it stayed where we labeled it. And here, for example, if we click here, we might call this uh, uh, Edgeworth. There, see? So you can, uh, you can create these, these labels and uh, when you are actually in your base assigning locations for people to go to um, you choose from these places you've tagged with your satellites and as you go on you can improve your satellites uh, launch better satellites that have a wider field of vision or see more symbols or look deeper into the earth or any of a number of other things and uh, there are also piloted planes uh, that, that fly low over the surface of the planet and can do some of the same kinds of things, but detect completely different details. Um, so that's going to be the very first kind of external play you can do, but it doesn't actually make any difference until you have some of the others, because just tagging these locations doesn't actually accomplish anything um, until you can send someone there to do, to do work. Uh, but I'd, I thought I'd show you this first prototype. Uh, and of course each of the symbols means something, although it may not be clear exactly what when you first start playing. I haven't decided yet either. I'm going to be replacing them with icons, but whatever. It's all good.